The Moscow Shopping Guide today is the triumph of capitalism. You can see on this map how many major shopping centres there are in the city. Catering for all price brackets, Moscovites were born to shop. It's just that for a long time, there wasn't anything to buy. Different century, different story. Moscow's most famous shopping gallery is Goom, which stands for State Department Store. The shop bears little resemblance to the 19th century stalls of Goom's early days. Today, designers such as Armani, Calvin Klein and their Russian counterparts fill the lavish building. Sparkling new malls like this really do act as mini-cities. And such gigantic Western imported complexes have been welcomed with open arms in the capital, taking into consideration Moscow's extreme temperatures and traffic problems. Moving to our next location, we've arrived at Mega. And it's easy to see how they came up with the name. As one of the largest shopping malls in Europe, they are colossal maze-like entertainment and shopping complexes. Don't get lost. You may never get out. With the hypermarket Ashan, Stockman's and Ikea attached to the mall, the $250 million retail project has proved a great commercial success. There are now 12 mega malls in Russia, with more being planned. <laughs> Гум Department Store. And what does Гум means? That's главный универсальный магазин. If literally to translate it to English, that's main universal store. And it's the name for the main uh, department stores in uh, many cities of the former Soviet Union. And the biggest and most known, most famous one is here in Moscow, right where we are now. Меня лично поразили колоссальные размеры, масштабы и потрясающая архитектура. Shops like In City, Terra Nova, Forever 21. So, yeah, everything is all good. But I think I'm kind of running out. Still looking for the shop. You know, this is very big. And I'm running out of time. Yeah. Okay, so after walking for 15 minutes, I finally arrived at the shop. Ashan, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Ashan. 